Well, we're delighted to have on the show Montana Representative Matt Rosendale. Congressman, it's good to see you. Let's go right to it. You were one of the eight Republicans who voted to oust Kevin McCarthy as Speaker. So what do you say to the criticism that this is a clown show, the media is saying you guys are anarchists, that Republicans are in disarray? What do you say to all that? Uh, nonsense. Um, I take no pleasure in removing Kevin McCarthy from Speaker, but I think it's very telling that after we did remove him as Speaker yesterday afternoon, Liz, my gosh, before midnight, we had five other members of uh, Congress put their hand up and say, hey, you know, I'm interested in being the next Speaker. We went through this process back in January. Uh, the problem is that no one could see any momentum building uh, to dislocate, if you will, Kevin from being the speaker. And so the balance of the uh, potential uh, speakers uh, laid quiet because, quite frankly, they were afraid of retribution. They were afraid of what might happen to them should they dare uh, to challenge Kevin McCarthy. And so what we've seen over the last nine months is a, a very strong conservative agenda get passed except for anything that address the fiscal situation that we are that we are uh, dealing with and okay, at so, that point yeah at that point thought. yeah it, it is when we saw uh, Kevin uh, deviate from the promises that he made to the conference and go directly to the Democrats to get the votes he needed to pass a, uh, a fiscally irresponsible agenda, whether it's the debt ceiling or this continuing resolution. Yeah, you want single spending bills, you know, not, you know, all the law Yeah. But I want to talk to you about this. For it. Yes, you understood. There was, so the conservative agenda close the border, stop inflationary spending. Give a diplomatic solution to end the war in Ukraine. Bring back U.S. energy security. You say this is about protecting the full faith and credit of the U.S. dollar. This inflationary debt spending is spiraling out of control. So who's the replacement? Who do you support? Steve Scalise, Jim Jordan, who do you want? I'll tell you, I'm really excited that so many people actually who put do you their want? hand up. Who do you oh, want? I, I will tell you what I want. Okay, what I want is somebody who's going to be trustworthy, which Kevin McCarthy is not. What I want is a leader that's going to give us a vision and then incite the enthusiasm to pursue okay, that vision amongst the conference. Okay, let me put it to you this way. Do you like the names now up? I mean, we see Kevin Hearn also coming in the mix. Do you like all of the names? Do you like Jordan? Do you like Scalise? Do you like Hearn? Do you think there will be better speakers? I like everybody that is, uh, serves in Congress. I, I don't take any of this personally. Again, I'm looking for somebody who's going to okay. be trustworthy, someone who's going to give us a vision, and someone who's going to incite the enthusiasm within the conference to pursue that vision. Okay, let's stay on this too. Acting Speaker Patrick McHen McHenry ordered former Speaker Nancy Pelosi to vacate her special Capitol Hill office, saying he'll change the locks if she doesn't leave. Steny Hoyer evicted too. These offices usually reserve for senior members or senators. Uh, she's blasting the move. What do you say to this? I think that this is a big problem that we have in Congress, that these people uh, get treated with such power and privilege. It's wrong, and I am glad that Representative McHenry uh, ousted them from the Capitol. Steny Hoyer and Nancy Pelosi are serving as representatives just like I am, and they should not have any special privileges or offices. Uh, yeah, ousted from the Capitol offices. Let's from their special offices. You know, Congressman, let's take a look at what happened yesterday. Watch this. Follow your heart, but take your brain with you. The, uh, the, the American people expect us to govern. Oh, boo all you want who have hollowed out this town and have borrowed against the future of our future generations. We do know this. On Saturday, we didn't take the Senate's bill. They tried to send over and shove it down our throats. But when the Senate tried to send us that bill, he said no to it. I think we should keep him as Speaker. I yield back. Accordingly, pursuant to Clause 12A of Rule 1, the Chair declares the House in recess subject to the call of the Chair. Uh, I would also argue that, uh, you know, some of our brothers and sisters, particularly in the, um, you know, uh, MAGA camp, I think, uh, particularly enjoy the circular firing squad. You want to come at me and call me a rhino, you can kiss my ass. I would say that uh, my conversations with the former president leave me with great confidence that I'm doing the right thing. Okay, the Trump team is denying that Trump is a factor in this. Was Trump a factor in ousting McCarthy? 
Oh, I don't think so. I think that, the, honestly, that the conference saw Kevin McCarthy um, out, uh, negotiate outside of the conference and uh, allowed the Democrats to dictate what the financial policy was going to be. That's why we saw them uh, pass the debt ceiling with more Democrat votes. That's why we saw them pass a continuing resolution with many more Democrat votes than, than there were Republicans. And, and I think finally, Liz, when we heard that Kevin McCarthy had negotiated a deal with President Biden to uh, provide additional funding to Ukraine uh, in exchange for border security. That's where folks just said enough is enough. Got it. Congressman Rosendale, thanks for joining us tonight. It's good to have you on. Thank you, Liz. Look who's